All right, everyone, it's time for another G-Scale review, and today I'm going to be doing one on the most recent addition to my large-scale collection, which is the Spockman large-scale Peter Witt Street car. This is the Baltimore Transit Company one, and I was really anxious to get my hands on this. I've wanted one for a while now, and the guy I deal with a lot out in Vegas, he had one of these, and I also picked up this Bachman Spectrum 120.3 tank car from him as well and also some knuckle couplers but we won't be looking at this in this video instead we'll be looking at the Peter Witt street car here so uh let's go ahead and get this out of the box and see what we got now of interest Bachman actually sells this under the big haulers line and i kind of find that odd because i don't really think i'd classify this unit as a big hauler but then again they do the same thing with like their speeders and possibly even their egg liners as well so but go ahead and get this out of the box here. And I really wanted to get my hands on this this year because I noticed in the Bachman 2020 catalog, this particular street car was actually taken out. So I believe these units have been discontinued and I wanted to get my hands on one while I still had the chance. So I don't know how well you can see the unit there, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut open the plastic here So I got the model out of the box and when I was doing that I actually had this uh, screw fell out and I have no idea where this goes, so I'm going to have to look over the model and see if this has a home or not. So, uh, give me a second here. So I had a good look all over the model, and I just couldn't find anywhere where this screw would have came off. So I'm just going to hope that maybe this was accidentally thrown in the box during packaging. But I will hang on to it in the case that I do find this came off the model, I can put it back on. But anyways, let's talk about the paperwork that came with the model, and we're just going to run through this real quick, but get a uh, thing you can fill out to get a Bachman 2013 catalog. Boy, that's been a while. Uh, also got warranty card. i got to make sure to send this in. Also got warranty information here, and this is in like several different languages. There's like three pages here. I'm not going to be going through all that. But also exploded diagrams for the model. And I mean, I'm not going to show you guys all of this, but uh, there's information on like uh, how to access the interface circuit board. Uh, more exploded diagrams. That's actually upside down. Uh, chassis and truck assembly. But yeah, there's a bunch of this stuff. I mean, not really worth talking about too much. But interestingly, Bachman also includes a decal sheet. So you can uh, decal the model. Don't know if I'll be doing that or not, but uh, it's quite interesting. But yeah, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the model itself now. So this model actually offers quite a few features, and while I'm going through that list, I'm going to put up images and video of the details on this model. But to start off with, it's built to 129th scale. It comes DCC ready with factory installed 21 pin and 8 pin sockets for the DCC decoder of your choice. It can be operated on either track power or overhead wire and the trolley wheel is compatible with LGB overhead wire. The model is sound ready with factory installed speaker and it has a precision balanced CAN motor. There's also an LED headlight and rear stop light. The model has interior lighting. It has manually operated front and rear bifold doors. It has a painted interior with seats and also photo etch RAS safety screen per the prototype. So there's quite a bit of detail and offerings with this model. And I think anyone who buys this will be very happy with what they get. So now you can probably see that this unit's got a lot of good things going for it. And while it's not like the top of the line large scale models you'd see out there, the detail on this, at least in my opinion, is almost the equivalent of a Bachman Spectrum model. And I think that says a lot considering they sell this under their big hauler series. The detail is what really impresses me. And I'm 
wondering if I'm going to bother decaling this because I kind of like the way it looks right now as is, but I'm really anxious to put this on the track and run it and see how the unit performs. Now when it comes to the cost of this model, I think I did pretty good because I only paid $152.95 for the unit and that's a couple hundred dollars cheaper than what Blockman's price was at $429. So at the end of the day, I think I got a hell of a bargain. But I purchased the unit from Al over at Roll Easy Wheels. He's a retailer out in Vegas and I've bought quite a bit of large scale stock from him over the years and I'll go ahead and leave a link to both his eBay page and his website in the video description if anyone wants to check him out and I do know that if you buy directly from him he will give you 10% off of what he would charge on eBay so that's how some of this stuff is so ridiculously affordable but I mean something else I wanted to say was I had originally planned to buy this streetcar along with the large-scale Toby from Train World, but being that their store was closed, I decided to uh, go elsewhere. And I mean, in the end, I paid a couple dollars more for this than what I would have from Train World, but being Al was able to ship this with some other large-scale stock I wanted, I think I made out better uh, this way. So overall, I think this is a good-looking unit, and if you want something different on your large-scale railroad instead of a normal steam locomotive or diesel locomotive, I'd highly suggest picking up one of these Peter Witt streetcars. Like I said, I just really like the look of these models. And aside from the Baltimore Transit Company one, Bachman did do three others, but I mean, being these units have been discontinued, I'd suggest trying to pick one up while you still can, because they'll probably become scarcer in later years. But anyways, that's going to do it for this review, and let's get on to the running footage, which I know a lot of you guys have probably been waiting for.